Hello, my name is Daniel Ingenhag and I'm a product manager for SAP Data Intelligence. In this short demo, we will show an extract of our DAT161 session, Connectivity and Integration, focusing on integration of SAP S4HANA with SAP Data Intelligence. In the demo, we will show you a quick overview and an example how you can integrate data from a CDS view into an S3 object store in form of a CSV file. There, we will also leverage real-time data integration, so you will see how we can also stream in real-time changes that are occurring on your S4HANA system with SAP Data Intelligence. First of all, I want to give you a quick overview how the extraction works. In Data Intelligence, we have the so-called ABAP CDS reader operator that is taking care of the integration of S4HANA CDS views into Data Intelligence. And this is being realized via the so-called ABAP pipeline engine in S4HANA, which is providing the technical framework for the extraction. And here we can integrate different CDS views in initial load and real-time change data capturing to also taking care of insight, update, and delete processes. In data intelligence, you have many different ways in order to process the data. But in this example, we will focus on the use case to load your CDS view data into an S3 object store. But technically, you can, of course, also use many different other ways to process the data. And now in the next step, we will look into the S4HANA system to have a first quick look on how the CDS view modeling is done. We see here now the representation of a custom CDS view that is built up on the EPM data model. And we will see now that the CDS view is consisting of three different tables. The sales order table with containing the header information, the sales order items, as well as products that are related to a sales order. We can see here the different join conditions um, through which the CDS view is built up on. And we will now take a look on the more technical representation, which is the standard modeling of CDS views using the modeling tools inside SAP S4HANA. And what we require here for the data extraction are the so-called annotations. And in this case, the analytical annotations, where we will first of all need to have the CDS view generally enabled for the extraction. And secondly, there are also specific annotations required for the change data capturing. And in this case, you can see that there are certain preconditions required per table that are implemented. On the bottom, we can now again see the join conditions that are defined and also the number of columns that we would like to illustrate and to use in our CDS view. Now that's it. We will now switch over to our data intelligence modeler. And here you can see the pipeline that has been built in order to implement the use case to load the data into S3. We will first start with the ABAP operator and when we click on it, you will see that we have defined a respective connection that is pointing to our Sohana system. And here we have different operator versions available that all serve a different purpose. And in our case, we will focus on the usage of the V2 operator that is also providing the metadata in form of columns, so the field names that we will later use in our CSV file. So that's it. In the second step, we have the so-called get header operator. And this one is taking care of that we extract the column names of the CDS view and merge it with the actual data that will be then provided in a CSV format. And last but not least, of course, we have the writing component, which is taking care of writing the data into our S3 object store. We can see here also a respective connection that is defined to S3. And we also have a file path being defined and, of course, also the file name, how we want to name our CSV file. And we have also different writer modes available that we can use. If we now switch to the Metadata Explorer and browse into S3 storage, we see that it's completely empty. So there's no file there. And we see also the file paths again. And for simplification reasons, we will now use the append mode. But of course, it depends a bit on the use case what you actually want to use. Now that's it. We will now run our pipeline, which will actually trigger the execution of the data extraction. And you can see in the bottom of the screen that the pipeline has been started, which is currently still in pending mode. And it just take a couple of seconds until it's switching into running mode. And once the pipeline is switching to the running mode, we use that time and go back in our S4HANA system to see how many records we have in that CDS view. And we can see now there are 122 rows available. And as the pipeline is now running, we go back to our metadata explorer, hit the refresh button, and we will now see there is a folder being generated that we have specified and our CSV file. 
And if we browse into it and go into the data preview section, we see now that our actual data has been loaded. And we also see that 122 rows have been replicated, which is matching the number of the CTS view. What we will now do is we will go back in our S4HANA system and manually trigger the execution of additional sales orders, so simulating the real-time behavior. And we will now execute it, and we will see in the logs that additional records have been replicated. We will now just check and see the total number of rows has increased to 132. And if we now go back to our modeler, we see the pipeline is still running, and it should take care of replicating those rows in addition. We will now go back into our CSV file, refresh it, and going back into the data preview, and we will now see that it's also increased to 132. And if we scroll down to the bottom of the CSV file, we will also see the 10 additional rows with a respective change indicator so that we can really see which rows has been really added as part of our demonstration of the change data capturing. So that's it. We have now successfully replicated data from a CDS view with change data capturing in real time with SAP Data Intelligence into an S3 object store. Thank you very much for listening in. I'm really looking forward to work with some of you in our hands-on session, DAT161, where we will use a similar use case, but with much more content, uh, where we can build up your pipeline from scratch with a similar use case, but also merge the data with other data sources. So I'm really looking forward to you and talk to you in the hands-on session. Thank you. Bye.